family doing? Mm, his mother comes every day. She's tried to get him to start therapy. But it'll take time. And what about his father? Oh, he rarely comes. And when he does, he stays five minutes. He hasn't been around here in weeks now. You might be the best-looking boy in school and all that, but I'm a nice person. I'm a good person. You have no right to be rude to me. Well, why do you keep coming around here anyway? I mean, are you doing a report on cripples or something like that? Oh, nuts. I swear I'd lose my head if it wasn't screwed on. I gotta go back to the nurse's station, pick up your schedule. I'll be right back. Take your time, man. I'm not going anywhere. Mark, could you get my book for me? I blew it. Hey, kid, get Scotty's book, will you? Man, you got legs. Get it yourself. Hey, man. Ain't you got arms? You said that I blame my son for what happened. That's right. I bought him that motorcycle. It's all arms, all upper body strength. Legs just swinging free. See then? Yeah, and what am I supposed to do there? Fall flat on my face? Hey, it's about time you started using those artificial limbs. Now, it's not gonna be easy, but everybody falls on their face once in a while. <laughs> you gotta be crazy. Why? Because it's a crazy idea. I'll never be able to do that. Hey, well, you're not gonna know if you don't try, right? Forget it! You know, Deke, you never would have made it in the big leagues. You got no guts. I got work to do. I'll see you later. Hey! When do we start? Where'd this come from? Friend of mine. Some friend. Uh, he hasn't let me down so far. I got somebody I want you to meet. Hey, Richie. Deke, I want you to meet Richie. Richie, this is your man. Hi. Hi. Now, he's going to work with you every morning. He'll give us a routine, we'll practice during the day, and then we'll all get together again in the evening. You're going to put in a lot of time. How come? Because he's a friend, too. Is that good enough? Yeah, sure. Why not? What do we do? I mean, how do I work this thing? Call this thing the monster. Because the whole time while you're working it, it's just your arms that are holding you up. It's not like some of the bar routines where you can hang down for a while. This is all upper body strength. It's all arms. So far, so good. All right, tell them what you were telling me about the kind of focus you have to have. Right, well, you know how in baseball you have to be all focused in on one thing? Especially if you're a pitcher. Yeah, you kind of have a tunnel vision. I mean, you're aware of the runners through the corner of your eye, but everything's focused in on the strike zone. Yeah, well, you can't quite do it that way on the palm horse. If you do, you wind up square on your butt. You have to be sort of in a daze, not really focused in on any one thing. Yeah, one more thing. You know that commercial with a bull in it? Yeah. That's how strong you're gonna have to be.
Mommy, I brought us some cheeseburgers. I thought you might be hungry. Actually, my mother's on a veggie kick, and I've been dying for a burger. Deke? Deke, what's wrong? They split up. My mom and dad. That's why he hasn't been coming to see me. Deke, I'm so sorry. It's like I'm no good to him anymore, you know? So he just dumps all of us. It's all because of me. It's not true. Yeah, it is. Your parents split up just because of you. Oh, I guess it's just a coincidence that they split up right after I have the accident. I did it. I, I screwed all our lives up. Mine. My, my dad's, my mom's. God, even my little brother's. You know, it sounds to me like your father's got his own problems. Maybe he's using you for an excuse not to face them. Don't let him be your excuse for undoing all the wonderful work you've done. Hey, it's real easy for you to talk from where you are, isn't it? You've got two parents. And you got two legs. So why don't you use them? Deke, I'm not gonna let you push me away. I'm your friend. Yeah, well, maybe you're the only one who got anything out of me being racked up. You finally got a boyfriend who couldn't run away from you. You know, you're not the only one in the world that can hurt. Hey, Deke, where you been? You're late. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I was busy in my room counting my blessings. All right, what's the matter? What's going on? Nothing's wrong. I'm just tired of messing around with this horse, that's all. What are you talking about? I'm talking about I'm tired of trying to win one for the Gipper. I'm tired of trying to please my old man. Well, why don't you try doing this for yourself? Let your father win his own victories. Do this for you. Hey, listen, man, I don't need some flunky orderly telling me how to run my life, you know? Hey, Deke, you're doing too good to quit now. Come on, man, why do you care? Find some other cripple you can help. Deke, you've come too far. You're good. Get out of my life, man. Who do you think you are? I'm the guy who hit you. That's who. It wasn't my fault that it happened, but it did. You knew he was the guy that hit me. That's right, Deke. I knew. Yeah, now it all makes sense to me. This is the Let's Feel Sorry for Deke Club, isn't it? Well, I'm sorry to wreck it for you. And Richie, I want to thank you for all your help. I don't feel like talking right now, Scotty. That's good. Because you've been talking enough. So right now, you listen. I told you that I tried to live in the minute. To think of what I have, not what I don't have. People who aren't on wheels are dumb enough. But when I see somebody who ought to know better throwing away 
what I'll never have. It drives me crazy. You know what I wish? I wish I could get one arm to move. You know why? I'm asking you a question. You know why? Hey, I don't care why, OK? Good enough for you? Not good enough. Nowhere near good enough. See, because if I could get just one arm to move, I wouldn't have to have some nurse come in and wipe me when I go to the bathroom. Pretty basic, isn't it? And then I see you. And you got a chance to go out there and make people see you. Not your wheelchair, not your prosthesis or your crutches. You got a chance to make them see you. And you got a chance to fly around that horse like Superman or something. Something most people with legs could never do. You got a chance to stretch up and fly. And you're throwing it away because you're afraid to live without the crutch. What crutch? Being handicapped. That's the best crutch in the world. Don't expect anything from me. I'm just a poor cripple. And every time somebody like you does that, it makes it that much harder for me. I'm going to be a lawyer. And you're throwing a roadblock up in my way because you make those turkeys think I can't do something because I'm handicapped too. Let me tell you something, pal. I am more than just the parts of my body that don't work. And so are you. But if you can't live without the excuse of being handicapped, then go hide in a closet somewhere until you can. You make things a hell of a lot easier for the rest of us. I see Jonathan. Oh, he's gone home now. Could you give him a message in for him? Surely. Tell him we got a date to work out tomorrow. <laughs> All right. I'll tell him. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. Yep. Tell him be there. This isn't a good time to call. Uh, I know you tried today. Can Richie work out with Deke tomorrow morning? What are you talking about? Richie came home and Tell said that... Tell him to forget what happened. Tell him he better be on his toes, because Deke Larson thinks he can beat him. You mean it? I mean it. Thank God. You got that right. I'll see you later. Rich! Hey, Rich!
nice night, huh? Yeah. It's two o'clock in the morning. I thought you had a bar exam tomorrow. I do. But don't you think you ought to get some sleep? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> What's the matter? Are you scared? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah. Tough Scotty, scared to death. It's always easier telling the other person to get along without the crutch. Oh, come on. Don't you think you got a right to be scared? You think guys who aren't on wheels aren't sweating out tomorrow? Sure they are, but they're different. Why? Because I feel an obligation to a lot of other guys like me. Yeah, well, don't. What you're doing is tough enough without carrying anybody else on your shoulders. But what if I fail? What if I don't make it? I don't pass. I don't know. What does everybody else do? Hey, come on, I'm not like everybody else. Oh, really? That's funny. I thought that's what you were trying to prove. That you were just like everybody else. Jonathan, you sure have a way of kicking out a guy's crutch. Well, all right, now that I got it kicked out, why don't you go get some sleep? You got a big exam tomorrow. Yeah. the bar. If you need a lawyer, you got one. I, I want to say thanks to a lot of you here for your encouragement, for being friends. Passing the bar was my first big step. And hell, I know it's not going to be easy getting people to accept me at first, but I'll make it. I've had a lot of tougher challenges in my life. I made a promise to myself years ago, and I kept it. It doesn't do any good to promise other people. It's too easy to jive them if you want to. You can't jive yourself. I wanted to be a lawyer. And I promised myself I would. Make a promise and keep it. Scotty was talking about today. Well, making yourself a, a promise and, and keeping it. Yeah. yeah. I made that promise. Bunch of But I never kept it. What was it? To stop pretending that I had to be here. And to call my son and, and 
Tell them I was ready to go home. I've been ready a long time. How come you've never done that? Well, well, it's hard to explain. I, 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 I mean it. Well, it'll sound dumb. You try me. You know, you know when you when you raise a boy. They always try to have that father figure, big and strong, and your boy looks up to you. Well, I'm not that anymore. I'm feeble. He wants me to live with him. I can't even pull my own weight anymore. Father doesn't want his boy to see him like that. Mac, you got it all wrong. You took care of that boy while he's growing up, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, the best I could. Yeah. How'd that make you feel, you know, caring for him and seeing that he turned out right? Good. Made me feel good. Yeah, and proud. You're right, it did. Well, he's got a chance now to do the same thing for you, and you're stealing that from him because of your pride. What, do you think at your age he, he needs to have the toughest father on the block? You think he's going around saying, my dad can whip your dad? No, no, that, uh, that'd be stupid. Yeah. No more stupid than what you're doing. You know what I think you ought to do, Mac? I think you ought to make that phone call. Yeah, yeah. Uh, me too, yeah. Me too. Hmm, okay. Bye, son. What do you say? Uh, he said, get my butt home. He needs his dad. Sorry, I can't do that. Why not? Because I don't feel like being hurt anymore. You care a lot about him, don't you? Too much. They give him another chance. He's changed an awful lot these past few weeks. He's not sitting around feeling sorry for himself anymore. And he really wants to see you. Can I ride over with you? You bet you can. I'll just be a minute. Hi. Oh, hi. I got a message that you wanted to see me? Yeah, I, I should have done it sooner, but I've been working out. It's a bunch of bull. Eleanor, I want to apologize for what I said earlier. It wasn't true. <laughs> yeah, it was. You are the first boy who couldn't run away from me. Well, if that was the case, then it was lucky for me. Um, what's all this stuff? Are you going home? Yeah. Well, you must be happy about that. Yeah, sure, I guess. It's just gonna be a little weird seeing my dad when he comes by to pick up my little brother for baseball practice. Hey, don't worry, I'm not getting into one of my little self-pity numbers. 
I'm going to show him. Show him what? But I'm still a winner. I'm going to compete a week from Friday. Oh, so soon? I'm ready. I don't even know if you'll be there. Have you talked to him yet? Just on the phone. Hi, how you doing? Great, gotta run. Have you tried to talk to him? Well, if he doesn't want to see me, fine. You know, I don't need to see him. Somebody's got to take the first step. Yeah, well, he's the one with legs. Let him do it. Sounds like you two are a lot alike. Maybe. Listen, I got a favor to ask of you. Sure, what is it? I need you to help me learn how to dance. <laughs> I'm not much of a dancer. Well, I've got an extra crutch you can borrow. Eleanor, may I have this dance? <laughs> Why the sudden need to learn to dance? Well, there's not much else to do with the prom. I mean, we can talk, but I'd rather dance with you. Did you just ask me to the prom? Mm-hmm. I'll think about it. Talk to you for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. Well, whatever it is, make it quick. I'm in the middle of packing. I got a flight out tomorrow. Your son's meets tomorrow. Yeah, I know. And you're not gonna be there. Yeah, well, this trip came up and uh, you gotta go. Well, what do I wanna be there for? He's just going to go out there and be a freak show for those people, you know? A crippled gymnast. Yeah, just a freak show. He's going out there because he thinks you don't want anything to do with him unless he's a winner. Well, he's not going to be a winner anymore. You think I don't want that for him? I'd give anything to give him back his legs. But your son doesn't want your pity. He wants you. He needs to think he can still amount to something, and he needs you to be in his corner to tell him he's right. Yeah, well, if that's what he needs, I'm the last person in the world to hold up as a shining example, because I never amounted to a hill of beans. I'm just a working stiff who never made it. You're his old man, idiot! There is nothing in the world bigger and better than that to a kid. I mean, my old, my old man was a stonecutter. When I was a little kid, that's all I could think about, growing up and becoming a stonecutter like my old man. Yeah, well, I was a baseball player, and he is never going to be a baseball player. So what good am I to him? I told you, you're his old man, and he needs you. Yeah, well, I can't do it. Can't. Well, that is hard to believe. I think your boy wanted to grow up to be like you. I was blaming myself for Dad's leaving. And all the while, Jamie was thinking it was his fault. It's so funny what kids get to thinking. It's not just kids, believe me. I keep thinking, if only I'd done this, or I could have tried a lot harder. How does it happen? Not really talking, I think. 
You know, we had almost too perfect a family life. We never got pushed far enough to have to deal with a real problem. And then when one finally cropped up, we didn't know how to handle it. You know, I've learned a lot from all this. I'm not saying I wouldn't like things to be the way they were. But you find out that stuff that you thought was important really isn't that important after all. I mean, there would have come a time in my life, Mom, that I would have had to accept the fact, even if this hadn't happened, that I'm not going to play baseball anymore. I'd have been too old or something like that. You know what I mean? I love you, Mom. We're going to be all right. Airport, please. Hey, Deke. Good luck. Hey. <laughs> You go out there and you give it your best shot, all right? I can use a competition. You got it. And Richie, listen. Thanks, man. I'm gonna get Max. You sit tight and relax. Hey, Mark. I'm paralyzed from the neck down. How much more relaxed do you think I can get? <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have to change a tire. Will I still make my flight? Yeah, not by much, but we'll make it. What's going on here? This is all new rubber. Well, can you get on the radio and get me another cab? Oh, yeah, sure. I'm sorry about this. Dispatcher L35. Dispatcher L35. Why me, God? Now my radio's gone. I'll do the best I can. Sorry. Well, okay, but hurry. Hey, you got a problem? Well, yeah, I was going to the airport and the whole cab fell apart. Hey, well, I'm going to jump in. Great, thanks. Boy, you couldn't have come along at a better time. Yeah. Must be your lucky day. What are we stopping here for? So your son's Jimmy. What's going on? I've been working with the boy. You're from the hospital? That's right. Oh, look, you're gonna miss your plane one way or the other. Why not come inside? I'll get another cab. Hey. You were a minor league ball player, but you got a chance to be a major league father. 
it's up to you. I'll be inside with your boy. Out mess around. The next gymnast will be from Meadowview High School, Deke Larson Jr. Hey, you got company. I'll be dying. You showed up. It's all cost me. I had a chance to win. Sorry. Hey. Who gives a damn? God, I've been waiting for you to say that. I love you, son.
walking like a champion. You got it.